Now we come to New Realism. And this is a return to many of the ideas of 19th century realism. These artists employ conventional techniques and approaches, although generally they're looking for a metaphorical connection between the subject matter and the idea. So it's not just painting an image to paint an image, it's painting an image to get across a message that isn't immediately apparent, that takes some thought. And this is, of course, drawing off of some of the ideas of conceptual art, although this is not conceptual art. It's drawing those ideas of creating a conversation from a piece of art rather than getting across a specific message. And what ties it together is the observable reality in the work. And oftentimes in New Realism, we're talking hyperrealism or photorealism or this really intense sense of realism. And a lot of this is their way of starting to push back against abstraction and accept the camera. Because after a hundred years, the camera is not quite the threat that it was when we first see it really making a massive impact back in 1870, going back to the Romantics, the Realists, and the Impressionists. So they can go back to realism without uh, feeling the need to threaten the camera, uh, or feeling threatened by the camera. And the piece we're looking at is by Julie Roberts. Uh, this is English Oak. And when we look at, of course, the first thing you see is that it's not realistic. Uh, we have some visual shorthand here. It seems almost cartoonish. But it's showing the realism and drama of human life and death. And we see a powerful tension between the technique and the suggestion of the image. So what are we looking at? Uh, well, the title plays into many of these pieces, so it's called English Oak. It's giving us some hint. And when we look at it, we can't necessarily tell uh, for, for sure whether or not this is a male or female form. But what we know is that they're sitting there polishing the floor. They seem to be older. We have age spots on the hand. We have a wristwatch that always strikes me as something someone much older might wear, just that form and that size. But it's unclear exactly how old this person is or exactly what their gender is. I've always thought of it as an older female figure, but either way. But what they're doing is they're polishing an oak floor. And this is a metaphorical piece. When you look at it, you should be asking yourself, why is this person spending time polishing this floor? This is an older person. They don't have a lot of time. This is speaking to time and materialism. Time in that we only have so much. And is it really important to have that floor polished? Or are there other things that are more important? Spending time with friends, spending time with family, etc.? And secondly, it's materialism. Is it actually that important to have the BMW or the beautiful polished English oak floor when it actually takes that much more time to own? You know, it's trying to get at this idea of focus, this idea of what is important in life. And it's trying to call that forward. And we all know someone like the person in this image where they will spend all sorts of crazy time getting ready for the holidays or a party or whatever else around the house. And they never actually get to do anything. They never actually get to be present, to be alive, to be part of life itself. Because they're always saying they're polishing the floors or cleaning the kitchen or doing the dishes or whatever else. They're very responsible, but even sometimes that can go from responsible to arguably poor life choices. So that's what Julie Roberts is trying to get across here. This is what 
new realism does is it gives us this sense of of realism something very different from the abstraction we've been looking at and then uses it to get across this much deeper metaphorical message uh, in this case about the short time we have on the earth about our very temporary nature as humans.